So this video is a continuation of my the first sequence output instruction video that I've put on YouTube. So you might want to go back and watch that if you're just coming to this or some of this might not make sense. But in this video what we're doing is I want to control the preset of a timer. And what that will do is that will change the amount of time that the outputs are on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up, but I'm going to do things a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new data table file, and I'm going to make this an integer. So this is going to be N9, and you see that that appears here, okay? And I'll just name it integer2, okay? Alright, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start to program this in a very similar way that I did our output instruction. So um, this is going to be n9 colon 0. The mask I will actually use the same as I used up here, n710, it doesn't matter. I'll go over and check my n710. It uh, should be binary, I'll put in binary, and it is ones across the board, so all of the bits will flow down to the output instruction. My destination is going to be, instead of being an output, uh, I'm going to make my destination t4 colon 0 dot pre, which is the preset for this timer right here. My controls, I'll just make r6 colon 1. And the length, I will make the same here as 5. Okay? So what will happen is every time this is done, it will activate these switches. So I'm going to come over here. This here, T4 colon 0 forward slash DN. And I will copy this down here by hitting control and just dragging it down. And then I will do the same here, but I will change the instruction type to this to make it to look like this right here. So this will start uh, timing automatically, and it'll just start to run. And every time this is done, th these will actually shift down. So the next thing I have to do is go into my N70, and I have to put my time basis in here. Now notice my timer. My time base is 0 0.01, so if I want a second, that would be 100. If I want two seconds, it'll and so forth and so on. So I'll go to my properties here. I'm going to change this last one. I'll just go to 6 here. See those appear? So we leave n9 colon 0 dot 0. We leave that one alone. We go to 1 here, and I'm going to make this 1 second. I'll make this half a second. I'll make this three quarters of a second, say quarter of a second, make this one full second. This six isn't being used, so let's leave that as is. And believe it or not, we're ready to download now, okay? And so when we go to download, you will actually see how this begins to operate and run through, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and download this now. Now what you'll notice is that this thing is automatically tracking through its progressions. So if these were all cylinders on some output machine or whatever example you want to come up with, you can see this thing running through and you can see the time base is changing based off of the position that this is in. So this goes done for a quick second and activates these and as you can see on our indicator panel that these lights are just filtering through. And So with this instruction you're really only limited by your creativity, the inputs that you have, and the outputs that you want to control. In this case I'm controlling a 16-bit uh, card which is nice because in RS Logics 500, everything's at the 16-bit uh, word level anyway. And so I'll let this run for a couple minutes and open up the uh, panels and you can kind of see how these are filtering through to the outputs.
And so you can see your preset is adjusting to these five right here. And your output is still just going through the same way in my previous video when we were just toggling it with an internal bit instead of going over and physically pushing something. So again, just like everything with PLCs, really you're just limited by your ingenuity and your basic knowledge of the instructions. And I hope this video and the previous video helped you to understand how to program a sequence output instruction and some of the versatility that it offers a programmer. Thank you so much for watching.